Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and for anyone who is new, welcome, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is something a little different, um, for anyone who lives in Canada, you'll know sometimes shipping with um, things from America or even Europe can be a little slow. Um, so October is really when I like to start looking to purchase my bullet journals for the next year. And I thought it would be a perfect time to put out this video for anyone who might be looking to start a bullet journal or looking to switch up their bullet journal. So I have this whole stack of journaling books or notebooks or whatever you want to call them to go through in this video um, to kind of discuss the different bullet journals you can have, the different ones that I liked, per my personal favorites versus ones I probably wouldn't use, things like that. So if you're excited for today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more from my channel, hit that subscribe button down below, but don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you always know when I post a new video. I post a new video every Tuesday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And with that, guys, let's start going through this massive stack of notebooks. Okay, so the first notebooks I'm going to talk about are these two cute little sketchbook notebook hybrids. And the reason I wanted to include these is because I feel like this is perfect for someone who maybe is just dipping their toes in, doesn't really know what they are looking for or what they want, but needs, they know they need something that's not the traditional planner that's already done for you. Um, this is also perfect for someone maybe who's been bullet journaling for a while and is tired of it or they just don't have the time anymore but they still need something and they don't want that fixed planner, like I said, that's already completely done for you. I feel like this is perfect. The benefit to something like this is how small they are. Um, now, these two specific books came from a scholar box, but I'm sure you could find something similar at a place like Michael's or Walmart the dollar store maybe even, like, it really depends on your budget. Amazon, like I said, that would depend on your budget. But I really feel like this is perfect for someone who just wants a place to write their things down but doesn't um, want the big size bullet journals, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about these. Personally, I wouldn't use them. It's not what I need, what my bullet journal, um, I need out of my bullet journal. For me, my bullet journal is not just a calendar. It's my mobile office. It's my scrapbook. So if you're leaning towards something like that, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you are really minimalist, you just want a place to write things down that's not a scrap piece of paper, I feel like this is perfect. And you could probably get really creative. Um, but I would just be mindful of it is smaller, so you'd have less space the more creative you are to write things down. Um, but yeah, so that is the first option. And I think it's a really great option, and that's why I wanted to include it. Okay, so the second option is kind of a homemade bullet journal. Kind of um, a do-as-you-go or make-as-you-go type of bullet journal. So this... Um, cover came from Walmart but the inserts came from Michaels and what I really like about this kind of bullet journal is that you can customize it so this is three different inserts and I did it over the whole year so with all the scrapbooking and the note taking and stuff that I was doing in it it took me three inserts obviously it's getting pretty full but I'm pretty sure I could fit another one in here if I need to or two would be perfect as well it really depends on what you need out of it. So I'm just gonna show you an example of what I did, excuse me, in this bullet journal. So this was my August 2019 theme, and it was honeybees. And I, like I said, I really liked this style bullet journal. I just found I ran out of room. I was really starting to get, once I figured out what I wanted, I was really starting to get into the creativeness and that's when I realized that this style wasn't for me anymore. But it was a really great starter because it gave me enough room to make a calendar um, and make my trackers, but it didn't leave me enough room for the creative aspect, which is why I switched over to a bigger size bullet journal. But like I said, it's a great starter. And again, it's on the smaller side, 
when it when it's not this thick so it's perfect for traveling and it's perfect for someone who is really just starting I wouldn't recommend this maybe for a bullet journal who's been doing it for a while but as a starter when you're really trying to figure out what you want I think this is a perfect um, thing to use because you can really customize it and if you don't like an insert just take it out you still have the other inserts it's not like a notebook where you're bound to one notebook you can't well you can rip pages out but you don't want to rip pages out so I feel like that's a perfect um, example of something like this and it's a really good idea and I really did enjoy using it so anyway moving on okay so we're going to get in kind of the more traditional notebook aspect now this specific notebook is a lined notebook and it's a really beautiful notebook I have to say it's handmade in Italy I got it um, from indigo chapters and I love it it's just I hate lined paper I really do it's not for me so I wouldn't use this as a bullet journals personally but I think if you were going to use it, it'd be a perfect bullet journal. It has tons of pages. Obviously, I've used it a little bit. I've ripped pages out. But it's just, it's the perfect size. I think it's an A5 size. Not 100% sure. But like I said, it'd be the perfect kind of notebook if you like lined paper. And this, again, leads into more traditional bullet journaling. But you could totally do something different with it. It's just really if you're into lined paper or not, but I thought I would include this because you can make a bullet journal on anything. You don't have to use dotted paper or grid paper. You could make it on anything. So if all you had was lined paper, please don't feel like you can't start a bullet journal because you really can. And this is a perfect example of a beautiful looking book that you could use as a bullet journal. So I thought I'd include it. Um, there's not really much to talk about. It doesn't have any extra special features or anything so it's just a line notebook but again it would be a perfect example of something you could use for a bullet journal so now we're getting into more of the planner style notebook now this is a kind of a different style planner it doesn't have any calendars in it i apologize that it's all ripped up <laughs> my kitten got it um but this is a weekly style planner so everything in here is done in the weeks nothing is there's no calendars there's no dotted pages or line pages it's just a page it's just a book for weeklies if you're someone who likes to see your year in weeks view I think this could be a really good example it is already done for you you really can't make too many changes obviously you can add your artistic skills or if you just want to keep it minimal I personally don't like this style. I love my calendars. I do them every month in my bullet journal if you've seen any of my bullet journal videos. So this style is not for me. But I think maybe for um, the working mom or someone who just wants something really simple but they want it already done for them. I feel like this could be a really good example. And it does lead down the more traditional planner um kind of notebook but I thought I'd include it it is a really cute I do like this cover I wish my kitten didn't rip it apart because I probably could have given it away but um he did so <laughs> rest in peace notebook um I'll try and fix it I think I can he really went at it though so <laughs> anyway again this is a more traditional style but it's perfect for someone maybe who hasn't had that organization before and is just looking for something simple done for them ready to go and I feel like this fits that so okay anyone who is in the bullet journaling world already definitely knows this brand if you're not the Loistrum 1917 bullet journals were all the rage a few years ago I think right before Archer and Olive really took off and they were like the go-to bullet journal for everybody um i did use a loistrum one year it's not my favorite the pages are really thin but it is the perfect um entrance notebook for someone who's ready to graduate maybe from the do-it-yourself to something that's put together but something you have to create yourself if that makes any sense so it's a really beautiful notebook i will give them that 
they've done a really great job it's my only complaint is the paper i don't like the color it's not a uh, white white so it's not um really great for all of my artistic things that i like doing and also the paper is really thin so you can see this is a pen test page and it's completely ghosted bled through like this back of the page would be an entire scrap and i just don't i don't like that um it does have a lot of pages in it it's just because they're really thin so yeah i would personally i would never use a loistrum again just because of the paper um but if you are entering if like i said if you're graduating or maybe if you don't like using a lot of artistic things in your bullet journal for someone who's just a minimalist this is really great um also to note that this is one of the it's on getting on the higher end to something like this this actually came from walmart i think it was 5.99 this i believe was in the range of like 20 dollars canadian don't quote me on that um i did buy this a couple years ago and i just never got around to using it so i don't know what the price would be now but um yeah so like i said not for me but i feel like i wanted to include it because it is really the basis of bullet journaling i know a lot of people who started in loistrums and then graduated to other journals so i really wanted to include a loistrum and yeah so again it's a really good example of something you could use and it really just depends on you your style and what you're looking for so Okay, now we are into the traditional calendar planner. So this is a planner that is very traditional. I'm sure everyone in their lifetime has used this. It's kind of the agenda style. It has, you know, your calendar done for you. You go in, you have your weeklies done for you. It's very um, basic, <laughs> dare I say basic. And for some people, that is perfect. That's all they need. They just need a agenda where they can write down schedules or appointments or deadlines, whatever. Um, and I actually use something like this for my YouTube schedule. So I use the calendar to plan out my video schedule, when I'm filming, when I'm posting, when I'm editing. And... I use the weeklies to plan out my content so I don't actually include that in my actual bullet journal because I just I wanted it separate I don't always need it with me um, and I just wanted it somewhere where it can be separate so I do just use the basic planner when I'm dealing with my YouTube things so it really just depends on what you're looking for I do like that it's done for you so for me personally kind of setting up my bullet journal can take a while um and i do have to schedule a day where i am doing that so that i'm not rushed into doing it and with this you don't have to do that it's done for you can be using it and then skip over to you know say july ends and august begins you don't have to do anything it's there it's done for you so that is a really great option again it's basic and it's not for everybody it really does i feel like limit creativeness um which is why i eventually left something like this to go into my bullet journal but for someone who doesn't want to do that this is perfect this is um really cute and this was four dollars at the dollar store so <laughs> it can be really really cost effective to use something like this and I think it's a really great option for some people. Some people don't like it and they want a different style and that's totally okay. I thought I would include it again because it is so traditional. I'm sure everybody and their mamas have used something like this before. So moving on. Okay, so now we're getting into probably my second favorite option. And this is, again, it's a kind of traditional planner, but it's not. It is completely undated. And what I love about that is that you can totally customize it. You can add, not add so much add inserts, but you can, you know, stick papers in here if you wanted to do a cover. Um, it, you don't have to start it at any time of the year and feel like you've wasted pages. 
it's perfect. And if I didn't have my bullet journal, this would be what I was using because it is so perfect. And like I said, it is undated and it, it's just ready to be drawn in and created in. But it also serves the basic purpose of needing a place to write all of your notes down and your appointments and everything like that. Like I said, this would be my second choice if I didn't have my bullet journal or I just was done with my bullet journal and I wanted something a little more simple. This would be what I would use because I could still be creative, but at the same time, I don't have to be. I could just leave it white and it would look great. <laughs> and like I said, it's done for you. Um, this came from, I believe it was Michael's, but don't quote me on that again i've had this for a while so i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah so again it's just the perfect basic journal um but it doesn't have to be that's the thing with undated planners is you can really make them your own but you don't have to it's, it's kind of already done for you so anyway i just thought i would include it because it is so perfect okay guys last but certainly not least is of course my bullet journal this is what i use currently like i said if i wasn't using this i would definitely be using the undated planner but i just could not part with my art journal of bullet journal like i said it's not just a bullet journal for me it's a scrapbook it's a memory book it's a sketchbook it's a portable office it's everything i need it to be and more so for example here is a scrapbooking spread that i did this is when Piper gave birth to her kittens. Obviously, you guys know that means a lot to me because my little Kodak is from Piper. Um, and Piper has been a big part of this summer and this year for us. So, this means a lot. And I love that I could scrapbook that, but I could go right into my August theme. I can go right into, you know, my calendar, my notes, my appointments. I can do my tracker. And then if I wanted to, I could just add a different page. I can take a page out. I don't, I'm not stuck with anything specific. And that's what I love about these types of journals is that you can do this, but then you could have, you know, your organization. If that makes sense. I know I'm, I'm probably really biased towards this type of journal because this is what I use, but I just love it so much. And I do recommend anyone who's looking to bullet journal try it my bird is out there <laughs> anyone who's looking to bullet journal try it because you will fall in love um and there's so many different kinds of bullet journaling you can do there's so many different styles nothing has to be the same so anyway that is my bullet journal and that is the last of the journals we went through nine journals that is so many um so yeah i'm need some water because i've been talking for a while okay everyone we have reached the end we have gone through all nine of these journals my throat is getting a little sore from talking so much so i am going to end this video here if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more from my channel hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you always know when i post a new video I post a new video every Tuesday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And guys, if you use any of these style journals, if you use any of these specific journals, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys use to keep your life organized. Um, I will have more bullet journaling content coming soon. I will see you guys on my Tuesday video or Tuesday vlog. Sorry, <laughs> that comes out at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Milk and Lou love you guys. Peace, hugs, and hippie love. Bye.